You know, if someone can see your hand, it's not really that fun. You know, make it a little interesting. I'm gonna make you a more. I'm gonna be a new face. Hello lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, and over here we talk about all things love, relationships, and astrology. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you doing? Hope that you subscribe by the end of this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and share your thoughts, okay? All right, we got that out of the way. Now let's get into the video. Today's topic we're gonna to be discussing um, something that I really wanted. I'm so glad you all commented below uh, the last video saying that you wanted this video because I really wanted to discuss it. So today we're going to be talking about how to respond when an Aquarius male tries to test you. Let's get into it. Now, if you remember from my last video, um, I discussed the ways in which they will test you, be it trying to make you jealous or um, falling back or um, just kind of testing your boundaries and seeing if you will uphold them, right? Good stuff. Fun times. What did TikTok say? They don't know we know this trick. Don't worry, I'm about to give you some tips and tricks on how to conquer those tests that they will throw you because they will. Okay. <laughs> so the first way to respond, which is something that I'm very... I didn't know that I was good at this. I think it's a subconscious thing. Maybe my Pisces moon is just really, really good at this, but mirroring them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. When I move, you move just like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, by no means am I saying as soon as they do something, retaliate. There's a difference between retaliation and mirroring. And so we're gonna get a little bit deeper into that, okay? this way you make it a dance you know like the waltz or the tango not crumping we're not going head to head with people okay that's not that's not cute one and it's you know it's not a cat and mouse game it's not fun you know if someone can see your hand it's not really that fun you know make it a little interesting but yeah, so let's say they try to make you jealous about something. You pause, do not react, pause. You go through the day like nothing happened, right? Even though you know what they're trying to do. And then maybe about a few days later, something would come up in your life that might push their buttons. You gotta play the game if you wanna win. If you want to play that game, I mean, you know, there's some people out there, clearly that's why I'm making this video, but that is a way to mirror them. <laughs> I keep moving the camera. I can't help it. So yeah, just roll with it. Um, so the next way to respond whenever they try to make you jealous or just do things intentionally to test you um, is the no contact method now this one is a deadly one because aquarians are really good at detachment but especially if they have an aquarius moon this is so nasty y'all like ugh, i can't believe this is coming out of my mouth but if they have an aquarius moon or aquarius rising more than likely they have like abandonment issues so detaching for a while could make them come towards you um, this is something that they use on, on a regular anyway, so like I said, this game is very deadly because one thing an Aquarius know how, knows how to do is to go missing, okay? So, you know, or detaching um, themselves from a situation from Earth, period, you know? Um, so this one could be a double-edged sword, so play at your own risk, okay? Um, but... If you are able to, especially if you're like a Virgo and you can just like, or a Capricorn, they know how to really detach. And that would be a good, I wouldn't say great match for Aquarius, but hey, when you're talking about games, toe to toe. So I don't know if I gave you an example, but an example would be 
let's say they're trying to, you know, cross your boundaries that you've clearly stated that these are your boundaries. What you do is you stop responding. You shut down. Even if you're in person, just seems like just appear like you're detached from the environment or cold or aloof. You know, when Aquarian, Aquarians do that, we can literally get lost in the conversation like we're not even there not even present so um yeah like i just did a second ago oh my gosh i'm so good at that um <laughs> from what i'm saying i'm literally thinking about 50 different things so yeah um just stop being present oh my gosh that's gonna drive them crazy but you've been warned use at your own risk Okay, so the very last thing you can do, which is absolutely one of my favorites, is you can uphold your boundaries and have a lot of self-love and self-respect to say, you know what, I truly love myself enough to not accept anything that is trying to intentionally hurt me or um, just disrespect my boundaries. So whenever someone tries to make you jealous um, or you know, cross your boundaries or um just kind of like fall back do the fallback approach you just simply say one you check on them if they're doing the fallback approach and see if they're okay of course because you want to make sure people are okay but if they are okay and they're just doing these things intentionally you say hey you know i in my relationship dynamics i'm used to open and honest communication and a constant exchange and communication so if you cannot so if you are unable to provide that for me or to me um this isn't gonna work out and that's totally okay put it exactly you know i mean you know mix it up how you want to mix it up but if, as long as you lay out what you are used to what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept i think that's perfect and you're upholding your boundaries and you know making a clean making a clean break from something that might not have been meant for you from the beginning does it make sense so I couldn't leave it on a serious note. That's just not my nature. So I wanted to give you one more and it's really about being nonchalant. It's kind of similar to detaching, but detachment is a little bit more serious. So with nonchalant mentality, you're simply just kind of going with the flow. Gemini's and Sagittarius's, honorable mention to Libra, are really, really good at this type of like uh, archetype. like. Let's say an Aquarius decides to cancel on you last minute and you just simply say, oh, it's okay, I'm about to go out with such and such anyway. So thanks. They hate that, oh my gosh. Like, that is the worst thing. They will pull up to your house. I'm not kidding. But you know, just like kind of be whimsical or just flowy and they want to match that energy so bad because they are an air sign. So they don't want that type of energy to be away from them. Yeah, so I, I hope this helped. I thought it was very detailed. Please comment below if um, you would do anything differently or um, just your opinions on this video or anything else you want, me, you want me to record, I'm happy to do for you all. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, lovers.